what is going on guys my name is Aiden and welcome back to yet another Minecraft video here on the channel in this video guys I'm going to be going over how you guys can actually go ahead and download mods here on Minecraft Windows Edition and I'm trying to upload a lot of Minecraft here on this channel just because you know I enjoy playing Minecraft as well I'm trying to bring a bunch of different variety of content to this channel but if you like Minecraft Fortnite or any other gaming related content then this is definitely going to be the channel for you however with that being said I want to keep this video as short as humanly possible possible so we're gonna go ahead and dive straight into this first things first i'm in minecraft you guys don't actually technically need to be in minecraft to start doing this so pretty much go ahead and exit out of it but real quick i need to go ahead and put myself not on full screen just because i'm recording this at the same time it'll make it a little bit easier for me that being said exit out of minecraft and what you're going to want to do is actually open up some sort of browser just like so i'm using google chrome you can pretty much use anything that you have by the way i should mention that this does does technically work for Minecraft Bedrock Edition as well as Minecraft Windows Edition technically they're the same thing but some people get them mixed up so just a heads up it works for both so the website you guys are going to want to go to is mcpedl i've been using this website for years now i've been doing this for years now as well you guys can check some of my older videos if you want proof but head over to this website it's completely safe some people say that they have issues with it i promise i've never had a single issue with it whatsoever i wouldn't be making this video if i did and in no way am i sponsored by these people whatsoever however today's video is actually sponsored by mine academy Real quick though have you ever wanted to create a truly unique minecraft server and do you desire to code your own minecraft plugins or learn java but don't know where to start i mean if you've tried learning code on your own you've probably encountered outdated tutorials confusing concepts and endless frustration but don't worry i found the perfect solution for you mine academy project orion training project orion is a one-of-a-kind training that shows you a full visual minecraft plugin and network growth training for beginners, live coaching calls twice a week with expert instructors, access to a thriving 2,000 plus member community on Discord and their hub portal. But that's not all. Project Orion goes beyond coding by teaching you a mindset of a successful coder or entrepreneur by covering network building, monetization, advertising, sales, team management, and even how to land highly paid IT positions. Now here's the best part. Mind Academy usually charges annual fees for this incredible course, but as a special offer for my viewers which will allow you guys to enroll for a fraction of cost for a lifetime so don't miss out on this extraordinary deal to level up your minecraft server and unlock countless of opportunities just click the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get started with project orion today and thank you project orion for sponsoring this video all right now that we got that sponsorship out of the way we can go ahead and dive straight into this now pretty much you can essentially get any sort of mod here on this page they technically call them add-ons here, but you can get stuff from skin packs, different servers, different maps, as well as different mods. Now, if you want specifically a mod, which is kind of what this video is about, you'll want to hover over this little mod section and go into this add-on section. And it's going to pop up with pretty much everything that they have right here. Now, you can choose any of these mods for this video, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to find one that I find somewhat interesting right now. I'm just going to go through a few of these pages. This Frost Magic mod actually seems like a pretty good one to go ahead and demonstrate how to do this and it looks pretty interesting so maybe it'll be something that i mess around with as well once you do find the mod that you want to install you just have to click on it and you want to scroll down all the way till you get to the section where it says the supported minecraft versions and obviously you want to make sure that it has the current version of minecraft which is 1.20 however i believe 1.19 and 1.19.80 work for this so i'm still going to go ahead and try it out but what you're going to want to do is simply just go ahead and click on this download section right here now make sure you're not clicking these things this is where i mean you can technically get like viruses or whatnot just make sure you don't click on any of the things that are not this specific button so click on this one right here it'll say you're leaving mcpedl.com it won't always say this but sometimes it does if it does say that you just want to click here to continue and it'll take you to a different page now it can take you to a few different places this one looks like it took me to link for ties other ones will just automatically download it down here for you but say it does take you to a place like link for tires what you're going to want to do because obviously there's a lot of stuff popping up right over here is simply just click on this frost magic add-on section just like so or find the one that corresponds to the mod that you get and it'll take you to the specific page we just simply click free access with ads 
and it'll take you to this page right here which is the media fire page and it should automatically start your download as you can see it downloaded down here for me but if it doesn't automatically start you just have to click this button right here and as you can see as soon as i click that button it downloaded right here for me now essentially this is where it gets super 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 easy yes it is that easy that i had to say super that many times because all you have to do now is just simply click on this and it's going to automatically open up minecraft windows edition and as soon as minecraft windows edition actually loads it should say import started right up here at the top and it should say successfully imported and then whatever your mod is it'll probably pop up twice one with the behavior pack and one with the resource pack depending on how complicated the mod specific is and then you just have to go down to this play section right here and create a brand new world so pretty much just hit create new world and it's going to pop up with this whole section right here where you can put some random name i'm just going to put mod example video and i'm going to put it in creative just so i can showcase this just a little bit then you're going to want to go to this section over here where it says advanced right it'll show you some of this stuff but that doesn't really matter as much right now because you want to go to resource packs and you're going to want to go into this own section right here where you should find the specific mod if it has a resource pack if it's not in here then the mod probably doesn't have a resource pack so you don't really have to worry about that but depending on how complex the mod is it'll probably have a resource pack you just want to hit activate just like so and it should pop up in your active section you are probably in the available section you want to make sure you're in this active section and as you can see it's right here in the behavior packs you want to essentially do the exact same thing you'll probably be in this available section just hit activate and then head over to this active section and you should see it and that's essentially it now here's the important part there's one final step and you need to be on mcpedl for this because you're trying to look for a specific word that pretty much tells you if you need to turn some specific setting on in your game settings on minecraft now the text you're looking for is experimental gameplay and I've looked at a few mods on here and it doesn't look like any of them actually have it. So I can't really showcase you. But if you're looking for it, just hit Control F and search up experimental and it should pop up. Now, if it does say you need experimental gameplay, what you're going to want to do is head to this experiment sections just like so. And just tick some of these on just like so, all right? Now, I personally would turn all of them on. And it'll pop up with some sort of pop-up just like so, but don't really worry about it. It's just a way to be safe, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you just have to hit create and it should load you into your world. And then now that I'm loaded into the world, I'm actually going to go ahead and put myself back in full screen just so that I can showcase this just a little, just to prove to you guys that this is working. Now, as you guys can see, I already have this little weird thing on the right hand part of my screen that is essentially different. And this is part of this mod right here. And then actually, I believe if I head into the inventory real quick, I have all these different things right here, which are these different skills, which I believe are different abilities that I can technically use with these wands of according to this mod i believe which give me a bunch of different cool stuff now as you can see if i do this real quick oh my gosh i just placed a huge ice thing let's see if i am again oh and there's actually a recharge thing this is actually so cool oh my yeah it like places like an ice shield around you that's cool now it looks like you need like a certain amount of mana in order to do some of these abilities which i don't have this is a basic attack let's see what this does oh it killed it immediately that's cool but this is just some of the things that you can do with these mods here on minecraft windows edition they are personally really cool i definitely recommend trying them out and it's definitely a way to spice up minecraft to make it a little bit more interesting if you know what i mean real quick let me see how i can get more mana because i'm just i'm a little bit curious you know it looks like there's no way for me to specifically get it and it just kind of charges up over time which is pretty cool to be honest with you but i really want to try this like glacier rain thing real quick so i have to do oh my gosh it like zooms you in so much there's so much happening right now i don't even know what's going on that is crazy i don't even know what was happening it was that chaotic but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video and want more stuff like this all you have to do is leave a like on this video because i'd love to make any more mod guides for you if you need any more help let me know in the comment section below and i can help you up to the best of my ability if you have any specific mods let me know down in the comment section below and i can try them out for you and i can make guides on them if you would like them as well and with that being said i hope to see each and every one of you guys in the next one peace